Hello there, hope you are all doing well. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how I draw my line drawings. It is a simple technique but it's a very time consuming one. This is not a step by step guide however, this is just a video demonstrating how I do things. I have a Photoshop opened here. What I start off with is a blank palette and I fill it with black color. This is my subject. What I'm going to do first is set up my brush which is this setting right here. 2 pixels 100% hard, hardness then I'm going to th create two new layers layer 2, layer 3 it doesn't matter what I, what I call them as long as I know what I'm doing the whole thing is simple you just trace the whole thing start from the outline of the car so just tracing out the whole outline of the car it's just the external features no need for any details like uh, this uh, shapes right here no need for that you just go ahead draw the whole thing and uh, I'm just for for sake of time and simplicity I'm just quickly doing a loop so pretending this is the whole car the one I drew is the whole car I'm just gonna right click stroke path with the tool as brush no simulate pressure click ok and if you press escape you get the whole car after that what I simply do is either use the brush or the pen tool and start drawing all the details like so and that's basically it that's the whole step behind the whole drawing of this it is going to take a lot of time now you may you might have noticed something that is the pen the brush tool lags quite a lot i actually have no idea what is causing this but i'm taking advantage of it that helps quite a lot if you know how to replicate this please do let me know I would love to know how to do it so that uh, I can do it on any systems and not just my particular system with this particular build of Photoshop. So that's basically how I do the whole base drawing and now I'll explain why I have a second layer. So you see this brake light it's glowing actually so it's actually switched on. If I were to use the same layer as the drawing itself I can duplicate it but it's going to be a bit more difficult process to do so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I made this third layer and I'm going to recreate a shape similar to this again a rough shape for simplicity sake and this time I'm going to make a selection out of it and I'm going back to the brush tool I'm going to take a color that is similar to this maybe a little bit darker it doesn't matter what color you use as long as it makes sense fills that selection with that color now you got the brake light it looks nothing like the car I know but bear with me the brake lights are ready now and it doesn't provide the glow it's simple to replicate that you just duplicate this layer you get layer 3 copy and now it looks uh, like absolutely nothing but if i go ahead and gaussian blur to it you can already see a little bit of glow and you are just you just adjust the whole thing the, this the select the this layer so that it produces a glow and when you combine all of that you get something that looks like this i have two pictures actually front and back so that's the only difference that's going to be present the more you the more images you have the more groups you make it's the same thing so that's basically how i do it some obstacles that i had so if you see this uh not this one if you see this this is not a stationary vehicle so the wheels are in motion rotational motion it's very easy to uh, counter that what I did was I took the brush tool roughly drew lines that follow the shape of the wheel if you get what I mean it looks like a spider a humongously deformed spider 
and what I did after that was took a lasso tool or, or the, either a lasso tool or a pen tool drew a circle around it doesn't need to be perfect circle you just need to cover all the lines you made once you made the loop make a selection filter blur radial blur now you need to do a bit of trial and error on this particular part because uh, it doesn't preview that normally I put between 10 and 15 it works absolutely fine within that values the result is something that looks like this it's not a perfect shape but it does give the illusion of a moment and for me that's good enough another issue I usually face is this particular part the grills because in most cars the grills are not exactly 100% visible if you look here and remove that you can see this is pretty dark you can't really make out much of it what I do is pretty simple I from what I can see will make a few templates and once I made a few of those I can kind of make an educated guess on what it will look like somewhere around here because I mean where it's absolutely dark and I can't see I can only do that to an extent because it's not exactly like this it's probably not like this when it comes to here it might be severely deformed when it comes to here because space is much much smaller here so um, this is more of a artistic liberty if I say so myself a couple of things to keep in mind is that the result of this picture depends on how good of a picture you got in the first place the better the quality the better the result will be the second thing I want to mention is that try not to get pictures with too much reflection in it if I demonstrate here you can see there is a huge reflection here so I can't really draw the interiors because I can't see much so yeah that's basically it thanks for watching bye